No, you're good, you're good. Sorry. Just a pizza review. I my name is David, and for the last few years, I've been testing out popular internet recipes from the comfort of my parents' basement. But now, I am hitting the streets to not only test out some of the most iconic restaurant foods across the country, but also to try to show you how to make them at home. This is David vs. Restaurants. Well, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of DVR. Finally, we have something that's a bit of a redemption episode. If you guys remember the cereal cookie cup I made that I just happened to dump some alcohol into and there was an uproar. Today we're doing an episode that's kind of relevant for a food like that. We are at Tipsy Scoop in Manhattan and I'm here with my good friend Cassidy who's been in a number of old school videos. If you're an OG peep, you might know her. We've got two different flavors to try today, mainly because I don't know if I'm gonna be capable of making either one, so I'll have two options. What is this one? The chocolate. I think it's dark chocolate salted caramel. caramel. This one is a raspberry limoncello. Honestly, I am a chocolate fan, but today I'm looking forward to this one a little uh -huh, more. This one's melting like no other. <laughs> also, it goes without saying, Cassidy is here because she is a ice cream connoisseur. And alcohol. If you want. <laughs> if you want to know where Cassidy is most of the time, at least a couple years ago, it was always Carvel. Always Carvel. Cheers. I love little cute spoons. Literally. Oh, I didn't take the, taste the alcohol when it was dripping, but now I do when I'm eating the actual ice cream. And these supposedly are 5% alcohol. Really? By volume. So it's comparable to like a very strong beer. Now the first time I ever heard of this, my brain immediately went to it being a little bit gimmicky. It's like, oh, it's a ice cream barler. Like it's a nice play on words, it's great branding and stuff. So you would think it would just be like low quality ice cream with some alcohol in it, but this is actually very good. I'm not really a chocolate ice cream person, but I would have to give it a very high rating. A little melty. <laughs> yeah, you're good, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I think I'm most excited for this one though. This one looks really good. So this one is raspberry limoncello. I honestly don't know what's gonna come out better homemade. You're the cook. I don't have an ice cream machine. First of all, you're stupid. <laughs> let's, let's just get that out the way. Oh, that's so good. This, yeah, this 10 is, out of 10. This is great. I don't really taste wow. alcohol in this though. The more I eat it, the more I can taste it. Really? Mm -hmm. This one is gonna present a unique challenge because Fun. ice cream takes so long to make without an ice cream machine that if I do like one or two batches wrong, this could take days. So remember these tastes, remember the flavors, because you're gonna have to rate them at the end of the video. Good luck. Now because of the last fiasco I had with ice cream and alcohol, I'm gonna stick very closely to recipes that I found online this time. The only problem with that is that there's no recipes for the specific dark chocolate mocha salted caramel ice cream we just tried. Uh, so I'm just gonna find the closest ones and then follow those. For the first chocolate one though, I grabbed some Kahlua and sweetened condensed milk. Hershey syrup and heavy cream, some rum chata, or in this case, frappe chata, and some dark chocolate. Now this recipe I'm following comes from a website called Delish. I'll leave it down in the description. It's similar to Tasty or Taste Made. Supposedly, you can make this in 20 minutes. You do need to leave it in the freezer for a number of hours. And technically, this is like a frozen whipped cream more than an actual ice cream. I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't second guessing my <laughs> recipe choice as I was making this, but I got all the ingredients, it's too late now, and honestly, once I had everything mixed together and then put it in the pan with some chocolate swirls, it looked pretty good. I am gonna leave this in the freezer overnight for a minimum of like 14 hours, so I give that the best chance possible to set up. Uh, we are gonna start on the sorbet though, and for that, I just grabbed some raspberry liqueur and limoncello, lemon juice and sugar, some frozen raspberries and water. Now this recipe is a little bit more involved, not much though. Um, the first thing you gotta do is make a very basic simple syrup, one part sugar to one part water, 
and let it simmer away for a few minutes until all the sugar dissolves and it thickens up nicely. And according to the recipe, all you've got to do is pop your frozen fruit, in this case our raspberries, into your blender or food processor, get those going, and then slowly stream in some simple syrup, uh, your alcohols of your choice. I ended up using about three tablespoons of the syrup, two tablespoons of both the liqueur and the limoncello. If yours is a little bit too thick or it's not blending well, don't be afraid to add a bit of water. Not only will that help the blender along, but it'll freeze up fine, so don't worry about it. But after I push this through a strainer to get all of those seeds out, uh, I just let it freeze for like two or three hours. This should set up a lot quicker, I'm guessing, because we already started with like frozen blocks of raspberries, so. The most important time has come. I tried to get a scoop of both my chocolate coffee frozen whipped cream and my raspberry sorbet. I do have really high hopes for the sorbet at least, uh, but let's give both of them a try. I'm not expecting the highest of results here. It's literally just frozen whipped cream and it took 10 minutes. So, cheers. I don't even want you to try it. It's not bad. That's what it tastes like, though. It just tastes like whipped cream. Oh, coffee. <laughs> you taste it? Mmm. It's definitely different, but that's also because it's not salt caramel. It's not ice cream. I like the coffee flavor in it, though. I like the chunks of whatever's on top. I would give it, I like it. It's gonna melt fast, but. It's hard to compare the two. I don't hate it, though. I actually like it. <laughs> that makes you feel better about yourself. He was expecting to hate it. When you, when you look at a scoop of ice cream, and then you go in, you're expecting a certain texture. I don't know, I thought it looked like ice cream. Yes, it looks like ice cream. <laughs> don't compare this one to the other one. Compare the next one. Don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I literally caught you. This was only in the freezer for a few hours. Even if I put it in overnight, I don't think it would get absolutely rock solid because the limoncello, the, what else we put in there? The raspberry liqueur. The ra Either way, I want to eat it before it melts, so <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Everyone saw what was in the thing. It's much more just like eating raspberries. <laughs> there's a weed, there's a weed. Oh, Chris, Chris, is that a weed? <laughs> it's almost like a sour Sa effect. Yeah. In the back of your tongue, because the berries are so tart and they're so concentrated here that that kind of, you don't taste any alcohol whatsoever. Which is dangerous. <laughs> That's really weird. Like a second or two after you swallow it, the back of your tongue acts as if you just swallowed a warhead. All I kind of right. like it. I wouldn't go warhead, but I feel like the... If I went like this, my the saliva would be <laughs> dumping out right now. Okay, why don't we do that right now for the camera? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you doing? Watch. <laughs> All right, swallowed. Nope. Oh. Ew, it <laughs> flipped off the tongue. Ew. All right. It's dumping. They're different, I can't compare the two. You have to compare, I'm this new is to the exact same <laughs> thing. Honest. This is raspberry It's definitely Luchello. not the same thing. That's fine. But just say which do you like better. Just cause. Put me in the middle. I'm, the thing it doesn't about matter. to move. Doesn't, I don't know. They're like they're that different. I just in my mind. The other one was not sour, and I do like sour. I just feel like this one would be more overwhelming than the other one. Like I could eat more of the other one, but this one is not like not worse. You know in what my I mean? opinion, through her gibber, <laughs> there's a clear winner here, and it's not nine. <laughs> <laughs> So rate both. The one that tasty, the tipsy scoop, whatever it was, I don't know. Um, that one was like a nine out of 10. That one was good, I liked that one. This one, I would, okay, it's gonna be lower, but it's just cause it's like, I can't have as much of it and I like ice cream. So I'd give it like a 7.5. I think you're on the money. I was thinking seven too. This is good in very small quantities. Fair, I agree. Tipsy scoop is the way. But what's the cost ratio to these two things? That's the other thing. True. Tipsy scoop was five dollars for one scoop. Five dollars a piece <laughs> at Seymour Studios. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's DVR. Again, if you know restaurants in your area or mine that you think has a perfect menu item for the series, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I'm checking through my DMs constantly for video ideas. Other than that, have a fantastic beginning of your week. I'll see you right back here on Friday. Peace. And my money super lazy hey. Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me hey. Try and supersize my life with my A-team hey. Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision we can make Come on, you gotta do it hmm? You gotta do it I'm not doing I'm it. an OG, you have to do it <laughs> Everybody all in favor of having him end no, his videos no. with the signature piece Say I, and you better comment I got watch. mocked for months, <laughs> for years. I made so I many months. vines about this. <laughs> if you've been around for any amount of time, you might know in my old videos, I had a much more enthusiastic piece at the end, but literally, peace. <laughs> every single one of my friends and family used to mock the hell out of me. So I said, you know what? I want to be more professional now and say, peace. peace. See ya. Peace. <laughs> See ya.